John Kim was at New York Comic Con promoting season two of The Librarians, and The Daily Quirk is bringing you an exclusive interview. So can you tell us a little bit about the dynamic between Ezekiel and Eve this season? Yeah, uh, I think um, Ezekiel, Obviously, Eve is the guardian, um, but I think more so to Ezekiel than anyone else because he is the youngest and the most immature, so I think she needs to keep the uh, leash a little tighter on Ezekiel than the rest of the characters. Um, this year, I feel like uh, you'll come up to an episode uh, and I feel like you guys will see a completely different side to Ezekiel. Uh, it's a time loop ep uh, episode where, for the first time ever, you're going to see him have to show some kind of leadership ability, and Rebecca, uh, her and I got to work very closely with each other that episode and uh, she gave me so much to work off and was so supportive that uh, by the end of the episode I felt like I was playing a completely different character so um, just because she really allowed me to uh, explore and develop and and, uh, and and to play a character like Ezekiel even though he is a wanker um, it's a lot of fun yeah so how do you think your character has grown from season one to season two uh, he's less cynical so he's more open-minded to the idea of magic being real um, and I think uh, that now now that he's open-minded to it it's allowed, allowed him to sort of delve in deeper to the idea of it and uh, explore so uh, now that he you know the, the idea of a seven eight foot minotaur in front of him would be absolutely absurd and now it's more a case of like okay how do we beat it and so uh, because of that uh, fact I think he's now able to explore his own abilities a little more and, and um, yeah I think uh, you're gonna get to see him a little more uh, he's still the same old douchebag but I mean he's uh, he's he's more of a team player as you get to see uh, as the season goes along now what will be different this season now that the group has graduated? Um, you're going to get to see straight off the bat uh, the fact is there's too many cooks in the kitchen. Each and every one of these characters has a different approach to a problem and you're going to see everyone trying to fight for their own approach and, and why it, and they're going to explain why it's the best but uh, ultimately at the end of the day I think they realise that uh, if they play to each other's strengths and, and uh, apply it to the situation I think uh, they'll be fine. They'll be better off that way. And what has your favorite um, piece of mythical story been so far in filming? Um, I was a big Labyrinth fan, so to be able to play opposite of Minotaur was kind of awesome. Um, but if not for that one, fairy tales. I grew up on them, um, and uh, yeah, to be able to relive, you know, Jack and the Beanstalk and, and watch, you know, uh, Prince Charming played by the wonderful Lindy Booth and, and, and all of that, that was just uh, so much fun. So probably fairy tales. Awesome. Thank you so much for chatting with us Thank today you. and enjoy New York Comic Con. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you.